My name is Tad Reynales. I'm the manager of technology infrastructure here at CalIT2. That's short for the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology. We are an interdisciplinary research institute um, with investigations in a variety of fields uh, ranging from the very, very small nanotechnology all the way up to the very, very large cosmology or the study of the universe. So this is the CalIT2 server room. Uh, we have about 60 racks of equipment. Um, they're all for different research projects. So uh, some of the projects have several racks and others are only in a single rack or part of a rack. Um, all of these involve high-speed network connections, so 10 gigabit per second network connections. Um, most cases it involves trillions of bytes of data storage, so terabytes of data. And then very fast computer processors. So inherently in all of that is a lot of math. So to understand what bandwidth is, I want to make a comparison between what typically is received at a home versus what we typically use here at Cali T2. So fundamentally, bandwidth is a rate. It's bits of information over a period of time, which is a second in the typical way we talk about it. To the home, usually you have less than 10 megabits per second of bandwidth. We can represent that as 10 with an exponent of 7, 10 to the seventh power, or 1 followed by 7 zeros. Here at CalIT2, we typically work with 10 gigabit per second Ethernet. Um, each gigabit is a billion bits, or 10 to the ninth. And so that's one, in this case, followed by 10 zeros. So there's a thousand times higher bandwidth here in Cal IT2 than you typically get to a home. Beyond that, we have more than a single fiber here. We actually have 100 fibers. So the aggregate bandwidth here in Cal IT2 is more like a terabit per second. That's one followed by 12 zeros, or one trillion. Definitely, having multidisciplinary interactions is, is very useful. At one point um, in the past, I was working on an endangered species model. And I ran into some questions I had about the equations I was using. And I went and talked to an economist who had a fisheries model. And it took us several hours, but finally we realized that the equations were the same. It was just the nomenclature, the descriptions, and the terms that were used that were different. And once we understood that, we were able to communicate much more robustly and, and work together on solving problems. So that's a benefit of having artists, uh, medical technologists, economics. scientists, economics, all working together in a common area where they can interact. So uh, CalIT2 was initiated by the state of California to improve the quality of life. So it's really science and technology in the interests of society. For students who would like to work here, um, they should try to get a good background in um, reading, writing, mathematics, as well as in the arts and other creative areas because we have scientists, we have artists, we have mathematicians, we have engineers, all working together to try to find uh, solutions to the problems that face society. Those can be in the arenas of health, in the arena of culture, um, communications, so um, networking and wireless communications, and then uh, in new technologies such as the nanotechnologies and, and uh, microelectronic machines, um, things that are going to help us um, as we move into the future, um, trying to deal with um, increasing problems with the environment and with society. Um, we're hopefully going to be able to come up with solutions that help us address those things. Math is obviously a foundation for almost all of these areas. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, almost everything is about telling a story, and math is part of that story. So I encourage you um, to study math and to 
dig into it to understand how you can tell a story about an equation or an algorithm or a technique in math and that way I think you'll find it more engaging and um, it'll lead you to um, enjoy and discover more things in science and engineering in the arts um, in health that will um, bring you here hopefully to Cali T2.